We inside the Smoker Studio, AKA Real Nigga Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you some questions and you answer to the best of your ability. Okay. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? Um, how grateful I am to waking up to my girlfriend. Hot or cold? Hot. Ass or titties? Ass. And you do know that. <laughs> what are your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Oh my goodness. That is tough because I'm a sneakerhead. Um, favorite pair of shoes. Actually, right now, they're a pair I just got. They're the Virgil um, F, uh, Jordan 1s. All time? You gonna put them over something you know that what? you got back in the 90s? Here's the deal. It's, Don't I, do it. Here's the deal. It's a phenomenal shoe, and I also, because I got the, I personalized it. I put nah, the look at you there. putting in your little uh, sponsorship. <laughs> the shoe that's paying is the one, no, my greatest shoe of all time. No, me for that? Dude, <laughs> that cost me some coins. <laughs> but those are like, and I may be saying because they're my favorite right now, I just, I just, but I, you know, they just, they just, they just ballerific, them shoes. There it is there. What's your favorite thing to cook? You know what? Tacos. Mm. I don't know how to do much, but I can cook. And they like the hood, like ground beef, like the taco. It's like and, very. And there's the shell with the with the that flour, then you fry them a little bit, turn them over. See, that's the, that's the old school. I do the. I get them out the box, oh, and I put the, them in the oven. Oh, that version. That's what I do. The, Come on. You want that? That, that that sour cream. And he break at the El Paso sauce, taco sauce. Right. Come on. I want the soft taco because I don't want the brisnakes to be all the way <laughs> when I bite him. Oh, you want that soft joint? Yeah. Just, just, I feel like you eat so many more of those because you just go like. All of that. Um, I'm putting my hands in it. You know what I'm talking about? What's the worst job you've ever had? Oof. Working at TJ Maxx. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I used to steal out of TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Warren G, what it do, my nigga? <laughs> Shout out to the 858 crew. <laughs> nigga, TJ Maxx, nigga, we going there six deep. Nigga start. <laughs> Line this shit up. Yeah, this, well, this is nice. We get it all up to the counter, have all that shit up there. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, go on, nigga. Throw some comforters and shit. Nigga, TJ Maxx. <laughs> nigga, what do you mean? One time we did, there was a nigga in the car, right? I ain't gonna say this nigga name, and he know I hate this nigga to this day. <laughs> This nigga had me running like rerun behind the car with all the shit. I'm like, nigga, stop the car, nigga. I'm running down the street with all the shit. And he finally stopped the car, throw the shit in and jump in. I'm oh like, nigga, God. why you playing games? Cause you got me chasing the car, nigga. Shout out to TJ Maxx. Oh my goodness. For never oh catching a nigga. Oh my God. What's the best live show you've ever seen? Ooh, you know what? I gotta do two. Because when I was very young, I went to the Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation tour. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy to have been alive during that time. My dad took me. May he rest. It was phenomenal. And then, because she's gone and I got her on my arm, uh, the Whitney Houston uh, My Love Is Your Love tour when she came to Chicago. May she rest. How did she sound live? Woo! Phenomenal. If you were stuck on an island for a year and could only listen to three albums, Woo. what would they be? Whitney's debut album. Oh, the one where you give good love? Yes. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I think it's... Never searching. Yes. I was always... I don't know, we forgot the word. For that, that perfect love. love. We, we Lord have mercy, we, Jesus. We, we, could, we could be... Where's the, the hot pink bodysuit? Um, Whitney, Whitney, Whitney! Whitney, that's just Whitney, That first too. album, my God! It's like, talk about goat. Goat. Mm. Goat. Everything on there. Goat. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. That's the other one, but that's cool. That's the, that's the, that's the sophomore album. That's, that's Whitney, but that's cool. It feel like it was on the first joint because she was so good. It was just like, bow, 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 bow. Seven number one hits. Right, She beat right, the Beatles. Right, she did that. Um, legendary. Man. R.I.P. Uh, the other one, Probably Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Oh, come on now. It's the perfect album. Come on now. That one with D'Angelo, Nothing Even Matters At Woo! All. Was that the one? That is the one. Nothing Even Matters At All. That is the My one. My God. Woo. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, and then I got to throw an MJ in there. And I'm going to do an album that I don't think gets a, as much love as it deserves. But maybe it's because it was my generation. But um, Dangerous. Mm. I feel like that was a really was solid, great. amazing Creative. album. 
And I know his early stuff, because it's like classic and it gets a lot of love. But I think people, if you were, you know, I don't know, if you're like in the early 30s, like Dangerous was the album that we kind of felt like our gen- it was ours. He made that and for it was y'all. Dope. It was dope. It was That's dope. what he did then. Mike did that. Lit. 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 If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? <sighs> that's, a, that's, first, that's an amazing question. Um, this movie, I when I was a kid and I saw it, I wanted to be in it so bad. It set it off. Mm. Like, I mean, of course y'all are like, oh, you Cleo, whatever. But, you know. Oh, they're gonna automatically give you the Latifah part. They, they go, of course. <laughs> what if you wanna be Jay you wanna live at the end? Well, I. <laughs> Motherfucker don't wanna get all, all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want that. She wanna be on the bus like this. <laughs> Come on, let me breathe. Yeah, she want to be on that bus hiding, you know what I'm saying? Let me ride off. Just get it all off. That was the shit. Fucking Gary F. Gray. Oh, come on. That nigga something, ain't he? He's really dope. He's really, really dope. When you look at his his catalog, it's so diverse. The (laughs) negotiator. I didn't even know a nigga did the movie. I was expecting a white name to come out there and direct it by. What? This nigga did this one too. The, the title's really white. So you like, come on. The negotiator. The negotiator. That's like the whitest title that ever he lived. He did that. Black people don't negotiate. No, 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 no. We we negotiate. <laughs> I'm all negotiate with re-negotiate. you. We <laughs> negotiate. In a real way. Yeah, we do. Now, this Get is called me. finish the sentence. I'm gonna start it, you finish. Okay. I always wake up wondering why they trying to stick me from my paper. Mm. Damn. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I'd want to work with. James Baldwin. If I could see anybody perform dead or alive, I'd want to see. <sighs> Michael Jackson. I'd look for blank in a woman. Intelligence. If I wasn't a boss, I'd be a. Uh, a boss's boss. My favorite position is. <laughs> On top. My name is Lena <laughs> Waif. <laughs> and I'm a. G. And that's. G for going places. I want to thank my special guest, the one and only extraordinary writer, actress, producer, director, I mean, I mean, Lena Shytown. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a new handle right there. <laughs> you fuck with it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs>